I am Kate Martin in front of the Burnett slash Garfield house in Southboro. Um, we are all here to show our support for the house and beg that it not be demolished. Um, it was purchased by a developer uh, named Bob Moss and we're hoping that we can convince him that this is an important part of our town. It is the, the most important structure in this town in our opinion and tearing it down would be a loss for everyone in Southboro and everyone in the St. Mark's community. Um, the person who, who built this house founded St. Mark's. Um, so we're hoping he can understand that it's important to us. I hope that he gives us time to work for a solution towards making this house useful. It can be a useful structure again, and demolishing it with three weeks notice is not a way to look for a good solution. We, sh we should have the opportunity to consider alternatives before he tears it down, then all solutions are gone. I personally think it could be used as either an inn or a wedding venue. It also could be used by either St. Mark's School or Fay. Um, but I think that so far in this protest we've heard many good ideas for what could, this house could be used for. Um, so giving the town an opportunity to explore any ideas, all ideas, would be better than just tearing it down. Besides a wedding venue and an inn, um, a museum, a museum could come in and buy this space. Frankly, if a private owner wanted to come and buy it, we'd be perfectly happy with that as well. We want to see it restored and cared for, not demolished. The first person who bought it two years ago said that they were going to restore it, which the town was very happy with. But we, a week ago, less than a week ago, found out that it had been sold to a developer who intended to tear it down in three weeks. Um, to raise awareness that it's being torn down so that if an, we think that if enough people know this is happening, someone could have an answer, someone could convince him not to tear it down, or someone could come in and buy it off of him. That's our real hope.